Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics, and I want to show you how to grow cherry tomatoes in a pot. Now, the choice of pots that we pick, we want to go as big as we can, and we want a lighter color, especially if you live in a warm climate. If you went with something like this, it's going to attract the heat, it's going to cause the roots to be warm, which is then, in turn, going to make it to where the blossoms fall off faster because the tomato is going to be warmer, and it's going to dry out a lot faster. So if we pick something bigger and a little bit lighter in color, it's going to be cooler for the tomato. So we want to pick a good potting soil. I like to use the Happy Frog potting soil. We want to fill it within a couple of inches from the top. This uh, potting soil already has fertilizers in it, so at this point we're not going to be adding anything. Uh, if you don't have a good potting soil like this, then I would suggest that you mix it in some all-purpose fertilizer, just a couple of handfuls in with your potting soil, and then also put some mycorrhiza into your um, soil. Just like a quarter of a, a teaspoon is all you need of this stuff because it's so strong. And then some other things that I do to prep this tomato before planting it, transplanting it. Water this little tomato plant in its original pot with some kelp mill tea. Kelp mill tea is just simply using just a little bit of kelp meal, like a quarter of a cup to a gallon of water, let it steep overnight, and then swish it around and then water that tomato plant in. This feeds the tomato, it helps with any shock that it's going to have, but you want to do this before about an hour before you plant it. So an hour has passed, and we're going to remove it from its pot. We're going to dig a little hole there. We want to go a little bit deeper, so we're going to remove some of this lower growth because you can always plant tomatoes a little bit deeper because all of the hairs on this, this tomato plant are potential roots. So we can go deep, plant this guy in, kind of firm it in just a little bit. Now about every three weeks you can feed this with a granular fertilizer, just like an all-purpose mix. And I just don't really measure, I just take a handful, just sprinkle it around and work that into the soil. Now, if you didn't want to use a granular fertilizer, you could just use just a, uh, a liquid fertilizer. Liquid fertilizers, uh, you just go ahead and water over the top. It instantly feeds the plant, but you're going to need to do it more often, about once a week. Now, keep this moist. You may have to water it twice a day, maybe even three times a day, depending on where you're living. Now, you can stake it with a stake, but cherry tomatoes get big, or you can put a cage over it like this to hold it all in. So, just as simple as that, go plant a cherry tomato.